Hey, my name's Charles Panner here at JTEC, and we're gonna do a fabrication video again on welding rods. How to tell the difference between them, what's the big deal on sizes, and what the numbers on them mean. So, I'll bring you in and we'll get to it. All right, so what we're looking at here is some welding rods. You see they're in different sizes. Some are bigger, some are smaller. And this is a box of welding rods. This is actually a box of a rod that's actually not here. So we'll open the box and I'll show you. Oh, well, yeah, it's a box of these ones right here. Anyway, so the biggest question when you get a welding rod is what do these numbers mean? These numbers on the side, if you see they all got a number. 6011, 6011, 6013. That says 7018, this is 7014. Now when you get them in a box like this, you see the nomenclature on the side, you'll see it says E6013. Also says the size and the manufacturer and all this junk. So on this label, you see it says E6013. E stands for electrode. That's why it's not on these. These are all electrodes. Okay. Now the first number on the electrode is its tensile strength. The first two numbers, excuse me. And these tensile strengths are in KSI, which is thousands PSI. So imagine 60 with three zeros on the end, and that's its strength. The 7014 is 70 with three zeros be a tensile strength. Now, the interesting thing is with, in the 60s, it's actually 62,000 uh, 62, PSI. So that's just how they're labeled. These are numbers. Now the next number in the set, yeah, you got seven zero. The next number is the position in which it welds. And that's gonna be a, that's one of three different digits. It's gonna be a one, a two, or a four. All right, the one represents every position, which means you can you can walk horizontally, vertically, overhead. Uh, anyway, a number two is it can only it can only be in a flat horizontal position. If you try to do it at an angle, it won't stay there. It'll move. It'll fall back on you if you do it overhead. Uh, a four. Is a still is an over, is an all uh, is an all direction rod again, but it's for vertical down. So if you're doing vertical, you got a vertical up, and vertical down. So that's what those numbers mean. That first number. So this is a seventy thousand ks uh, seventy ksi all position, and number four on this is what the coating is on this rod on this electrode. Some people call them sticks. Some people call them rod. It doesn't matter. So what that, like what a four means is that this is an iron powdered tit titanium rod or titanium rod. You look at this one, this is an eight on the end. And that's an iron powdered low, low hydrogen. So that's just, the, this on the outside of this rod, it, it creates a, uh, a gas. Uh, as you welding, it creates a little gas cloud on the end to cover your weld as you're welding. And it's just it's the type of material inside of the flux of the rod. So now let's look at sizes. If you see like these are two 6011 rods but the two separate sizes. One is an eight inch rod, one is a three thirty second inch rod. Now that's just gonna be the size of your weld when you're welding, obviously a three this uh, 3 seconds inch rod is going to be a smaller weld than this uh, eighth inch rod. Now, does it doesn't make it easier. Does it doesn't make it harder. Uh, not really. It depends on you. The bigger rods seem to seem to weld easier. Now, these are not the only sizes. There's bigger rods, and I've yet to see a smaller rod, but there are definitely bigger rods. Um, so that's in essence how you tell. The rod, also the numbers, I also forgot this. The numbers also tell you what kind of current to use 
or what kind of current you can use for your rod. So like a one can use uh, an AC or DC EP or DC EN, which is DC electro to positive uh, and DC electro to negative. Or like this four, oh this four is the same thing. So all these are DC EPs to uh, DC EP, DC ENs. But this 18 right here is actually DC EP only, which means you can use an AC current or you do it, it does direct current to positive only. So you can only go negative and it won't work. Uh, that's what the uh, that's what the numbers mean. And I, I hope this helps because I'm kind of confused on what does what. The 70s series rods seem to do better than the 60 series. One of the issues though is because of the 70 series can hold more strength, they need to be warmed up. So you need to warm them up if more than you need the 60 series. You should all warm them all up, but these you can use right away. So uh, when you're using a welding rod, it doesn't matter what type of wel stick welder you use. Um, I've seen welders made out of old microwave machines, so you can use anything. Uh, but one thing is you need to knock some of this coating off. Let me see if I can get this to focus. And to do that, all you do is scratch it on a surface, uh, on your metal bench or on, your, uh, on some concrete to expose that electron. Now you can see some metal exposed. That way it makes contact with the, uh, with the metal create your arc uh, so that's one thing to work to think about when you're using them so if you're having trouble create uh, getting an arc take your metal take your electro excuse me and rub it on some concrete on your metal bench to bear that uh, to bear the electrode on the inside to knock off some of that some of the uh, the flux in the outside so I hope this helps Hope you get a better understanding of welding rods and what all the numbers mean. And have a nice day.